Hello and welcome back to HWLRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. And today, I'm about to open y'all motherfuckers' eyes all the way wide open with this 6 9 investigation and this Treyway shit, like y'all saying in the paperwork. It's a three year investigation, but y'all say that they ain't pinpoint none of that shit until this past year. So, I was just sitting back thinking, you know, it was the Sabbath day. I watched all the other people get up here. I don't never throw no shade or hate nobody that's doing that shit. Do do you. Only time I'm ever going to ever hate on somebody that they blatantly trying to stop my motherfucking money. Then I'm going to hate on you and let you know that I won't see you. I won't cross paths with you. But back to the story that we're talking about. It's been an investigation for a year. And they on the internet saying that Billy Aldo told. But I want y'all to open your eyes up to this. When did Takashi start running with DJ Academics? DJ Academics looked like a nigga that would wear a wire. I mean, I know that they said that the phones was tapped. But they didn't get no hardcore evidence until this year. To where they was hanging around DJ Academics. And... To where the the video that this nigga released, this is my whole thing of the whole situation. DJ Academics gets on this motherfucker. He talking about his OGs. His OGs should have been telling him, well, motherfucker, your OGs should be telling you that as close as you was to around this uh, organization, if anybody needs to be shutting the fuck up, it needs to be you. You need to be handing this news to Nadeska. Or uh, the other guy on the show and letting them break the exclusives, man. Fuck the damn, uh, the you know, the fame and everything off of it because this could pull you into court. Unless you're already agreed to be su- subpoenaed to court and you know that this is the way that you throw everybody else under the bus and get you, yourself clear to do a little extra investigation with some of these niggas be doing. But I just want y'all to pay close attention to that shit. Now, that woke, that opened up a lot of eyes. I mean, just look at him, man. Even at that little, ex, the fight that just went down, he looked like somebody that was like, nigga, I'm just here to get, to get the information. I wasn't ready for all this shit. Like, nigga, motherfuckers can die tonight, nigga. They killing me. They gonna get me. Hey, damn, what was that? with was Ice-T in the movie. It was uh, Smokey. Not Smokey. Man, what was the motherfucker's name in New Jack City? They gonna kill me. Come again, they gonna kill me, man. <laughs> That's how DJ Academics was looking behind that damn bush. But, man, I think DJ Academics is motherfucker the mole that took them motherfuckers down. I can't say exactly, but just the shit that he's doing because ain't nobody just gonna sit there that close to no case and get out here and want to be in the motherfucking news that bad to where you want to uh, sit here and do reports on it. Nigga, the very first thing that you say that's insinuating you was there, you could be subpoenaed. You could be subpoenaed to one of them motherfucking scenes. So, you know, you can keep playing with your freedom if you want to. But they going to be right on, right, on, right on your motherfucking ass too. And if they ain't on your ass, you'll be blackmailed for life. It's always be over your, over your head. But... I just wanted to let y'all know about that shit, some light on that shit. But that's going to be the show for today. So make sure you go over to hwlradio.com, download the radio station app, make sure you check out the sponsors page and shit. I'm out.